Good Health brought to you by Mass General Brigham. Only 1-2% to of Alzheimer's is genetically determined in a way that your lifestyle doesn't matter very much. The good news is that in 98-99% to of cases, your lifestyle matters and can offset your genetics. And that's why living a healthy life that minimizes particularly the death of nerve cells in your brain and inflammation is so important. And I use an acronym called SHIELD. Shield your brain, which is sleep, seven to eight hours, H, handle stress. I, interact with others, stay social. E, exercise. L, learn new things, build up those synapses so you have reserves. D, diet, Mediterranean diet, plant-based diet. And we now know that the beta amyloid builds up in the brain in 10 to 30 years before you have symptoms. So we need to manage that amyloid early on to stave off Alzheimer's disease the same way we manage cholesterol to stave off heart disease. And so the key now will be early detection of the buildup of amyloid in the brain and then managing that amyloid and bringing it down decades before symptoms in order to prevent the disease. So we like to use the mantra early prediction based on your family history or genetics. That will guide you as to when you need the next thing, early detection, brain imaging. We now have blood tests that can tell you if the amyloid is building up in your brain. And most importantly, early intervention. Stop managing that amyloid as early as possible with safe drugs. And that's the phase we're in right now is developing those safe drugs that people might have to take for decades to bring the amyloid down, just like we take statins to keep our cholesterol down and reduce our risk for heart disease later in life. Good Health brought to you by Mass General Brigham.